Good afternoon, everyone. In today's video, I will be talking about lacing. Lacing can be one of the important topics that you might encounter when you work uh, in Dynamo, and it might be a little bit of an elusive topic specifically for beginners. Uh, to be honest, yes, it might be a little bit of annoying to understand in the beginning and specifically, uh, you know, uh, their way of working and their effect specific directly on, uh, you know, points in Dynamo. Uh, so the lacing topic is generally doesn't also only work for uh, points as I am, uh, you know, describing it here, but it works for lots of other objects. Uh, and lots of other uh, nodes and, uh, and commands in Dynamo, but I do prefer to explain them in, uh, in uh, this specific uh, topic or with this specific topic, which is Dynamo points. Anyway, so lacing, uh, guys, you find it uh, when you go right click on any nodes and you go here, uh, lacing, and you can find of uh, three previously, previously there were three, and now they were just added a fourth one. Uh, the most common used uh, for, uh, you know, to understand are the, the the last three, yet automatic has been set to be the default option, forcing in Dynamo 2.0 and more, or on higher versions, to be the one that the majority of uh, nodes set to it. Uh, what it's actually do, it's, it's run through the possibility of connecting two lists or the two sides of list when you give them as an input to one specific node. So if I run, if I run this uh, series of points, as you can see in here, and basically we have two lists and they are, you know, a basic uh, list and they are just make up of two levels, level one, level two. And honestly, you cannot separate, you know, the interest, your understanding for lacing from your understanding for point listing or for listing in general. Uh, yet, I'm not explaining list. I will try to do that in the next videos and I'll try to less encounter uh, today with the listing but anyway uh, we have to you know touch a touch of our base uh, you know understanding with listing anyhow so if if you understand if you want to try to understand this uh, I, I took this example from uh, Dynamo Premier it's one of the most important reference I highlighted uh, previously and I'll, I'll drop a link uh, for that reference uh, it's a very famous example that you can run creating two uh, rows of points one of them as you can see here I think six elements or six points and here uh, ten and when you try to create lines you know uh, from uh, those two lists of points again you need to understand the concept of lacing so the first three uh, topics i will talk about them which is the shortest longest and cross found and you can find them in dynamo one if you're still working with them that's why i will start to explain them first and then i will start and then i'll explain auto and specifically the difference between it and shortest which has been you know more specific in dynamo 2 and high and, and the higher versions so let's go for short short is you know basically that dynamo goes for the shortest list which is this one have six points and give it the priority to set the whole you know possibility of relationship between this and this so or, or this row and this row so if you have six point in here and you have 10 as you can see dynamo will follow the shortest list creating nine lines on only because you set that to the shortest and this one small line here on the lower uh, right side of the node just to indicate for you that this is the shortest if you right click on that go to lacing and then you go longest and guess what dynamo will follow the longest list which is this one and generally it will start using the first point and the second point matching it with the other list so it goes normally up to the sixth one as if it's with the you know uh the short and then match this point it's stopped at i think five let me see what is the number five or six it's stopped where is it here it's zero one two three four five you see here five it's stopped in five and then the rest of them will keep having five as the uh, you know the first input of uh, sorry the second input of the of the point which is this one and then continue between five and six five and seven five and eight and five and nine creating a group of lines at all end to the you know to this point 
as you can see located in x5 if you go and have a look and this is the this is the longest uh, icon for it and right click on that go to lacing you have cross product cross product is the most interesting where each point dynamo go for each point of the first list and you know uh, take its possibility with all the other five or six elements in the second list so from with it will take zero and it goes to take with zero let me open that yep it will take zero here and then the zero here it will take zero from the first one again so it will fix it will be fixed on the first one and then it will take uh where is it uh zero from the first one zero on the second one sorry as a point and then it will take zero and then one then zero and then two and so on and so on uh, creating you see uh, zero and one and zero and two and zero and three and zero and four and zero and five and then in the next one it will take one and then it will take again one with zero one with one one with two and so on and so on and by that if we translate that here to lines it will take a point this one with this one creating a line and then to the second to the third to the fourth to the fifth and so on and then come to this point and repeat the whole set this is significantly useful and it it is the key element as we explain to create two dimensional or rectangular array as per example as per explained in the previous video on the previous examples now lacing and the last one is auto lacing if i switch now back to shortest you know as you can see back to those four five lines sorry and then you right click to lace it as automatic you will see absolutely no difference as if there were the same common so now let's let's have a look i'll, I'll close this uh, uh this file without saving it and then i will go to you know the where is it uh here this file and i'll open it and let's see uh, this example uh, it might help us to you know understand auto and short and as the difference between them let's have a look this here and this is a pure point now i'm not using any lines in this example and if i open this guy let me open those as an inputs so we can compare the difference between the two the first or the upper node here as points are set to automatic as you can see while this guy is set to shortest now if a different structure provided between the two types of inputs like in a case of this where here it's a complete list have two levels while the second input is basically just a single number now this is almost a, a short case because we only have one element on the other side and logically it should be connected to the rest of those points and this is what automatically here doing while shortest in this case it will take the first element and then combine it as you see zero and combine it with a three as a first element of or the, or the only element from the second side and then cut the creation of the rest of the elements so it's look like we are talking about the shortest of the shortest and here in this case while it's only one option and should goes with the rest of this element and that's what it did actually by taking zero with a three and then one with a three and then two with a three and so on so that's uh that's really interesting it's it's very similar in my point of view to i, I don't know which one lacing i think longest let's see uh, what longest will do see it's almost you know it look like if it's been here doing the same thing in between automatic and longest if you if you remember if i change this one to auto it will be almost actually the same so that's happening is uh, that it, it, the, the way it's been look dynamo look at using automatic is to give you the uh, to give you the possibility to you know have more than one option when you have different type of structure in the inputs uh, a shortest here cut always you know and stop the creation 
uh, between the first one and the first one of the first one of the input and then the first uh, element or the first index of the second input cutting and stopping the creation of the rest of the options while automatic does not do that i i managed to understand those three notes so first of all uh, it might have not nothing to do with the generation but the way the whole dynamo one and dynamo two organized as all dynamo one nodes uh, actually set to shortest and they are now automatically changed when you open the same script you designed in dynamo one and dynamo two they will be set to auto auto so be be careful with these changes the second note i noticed that the shortest tend to stop the lacing process after single met as we see you see here in this case it's just one with this one and stop the whole thing and while allow uh, while auto sorry allows for more this give us you know more control over different type of data or data structure the third note that auto is really in a complex listing can give you way much more option than you think specifically when you deal with the second level and the third level of your listing and again guys i'm not really want to dig inside listing it's a really long topic and uh, generally i'll give you a quick another quick uh, you know examples if i have this type of structure which is both of them you know as, as a full list that have inside two elements both of them made of two levels uh, of uh, uh, input level one and level two and in both cases i'm using here uh, as you can see a list uh, dot create so by those i created the first input for my point so this is the point so the first input that goes to x is actually now made of list of the three levels level one level two level three and we side here you see a nested listing so that's a first list which have two elements that's the second list have two elements and all of them are a part of a bigger list in level three same thing is exactly happening in here notice that the type of input on the y side is again is a single element now what's happening or what type of structure let's have a look have a look at the difference again between uh, points uh, created with auto and points created with shortest notice here that the shortest again go for you know take the first element which is zero and place it here and take its possibility with eight and then take the first one and take its possibility and combine combination with eight cutting the list after one you know one element or one index so i know you might think this is an index and this is an index yeah that's true if you are setting here levels and you go to levels and then change the levels to one and that's a totally different thing which is not covered in today's lecture as i don't want to get you know deeper in listing anyway but it took the first element of this guy and the first element of you know this side and cut after that the whole process this is the shortest again while auto allows you know to have zero and one here five and six in here and give eight for all of them as if it goes for you know you know it's it's, it's the shortest way because this is a, the, the minimum possibility in the right side with the whole thing so it connect this line with all of them i know and in the same time it's look like you know largest but leaving largest aside or longest aside i'm talking here to define or to, to, to try to understand the difference between auto and you know shortest look at how it's a whole set being generated without cutting anyone while this one took the first index with the first index which is here in this specific case is two elements and cut the rest of the creation now again in the last one and uh, let's give you more than one option uh, see here this is uh, again the same inputs which is a basic list uh, basic list made of two levels to create more uh, like a, a complicated list it's a three levels and this time I'm not combining it with uh, single elements but rather with a normal list made out of two elements and two levels sorry now if i have a look at the result see now both lacing and sorry that's a that's the longest uh, let me go for sorry uh, automatic and i will pick here uh, shortest have a look now both is giving 
the same input and that's uh, that's again uh, due to the to the the similarities in in the input structure and the data structure that again they act similarly because both uh, long automatic and short list are almost the same concept you have to find to define you know the, the 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 shortest distance between this list and this list and because they have both level two so it combined both two with the both sides of the you know uh, both index side from the second list so if if you want to see difference again you have to go to levels and in, in this case uh, specifically i will go and cancel go to level one so i'm comparing this time this part of it now you see you can see the difference as again you see the shortest again it's now looking at those as an individuals with those two things so they now have two with four so it's created just two which is that's the shortest list cutting the rest of the uh you know the second side or the second list while in in this side look what it done is just basically connected the four of them and that's what automatic does again we need to dig in order to explain that completely we need to dig deeper and have a look at uh, using levels but the main thing that i wanted to show you again not to go really deeper in this is this basic one in basic example as shortest and that to keep in your mind shortest is always take one element and one match match it from one side and match it with one element from one or one index from the other side and then cut the whole creation process while auto does not you know cut the a process allowing to give you more option this fact or this is state will change dramatically when you have different cases of different inputs so when you have one list with a two levels with a second list with two levels you will get a different result and different uh, uh different uh, way of data structure and same thing when you have a three level with a three with a two level or three level with a three level anyway uh, so that's it guys i wish that you find this video useful thank you very much for watching and have a good day